Hi guys and welcome to a new tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be covering colour grading using colour lookup tables to change the entire look of a scene without really having to do much. So you'll notice I'm not in one of my usual tutorial projects. That's because I wanted something that was already pre-built and you know look good and something familiar that you guys can just get into and test. Um, this is the shooter game example from the launcher you should be able to get this it's absolutely free and it's a great resource for breaking things down and seeing how things are put together um, like i saw some particles appear and i was just you know you know me and particles i was just like oh my god look at the particles i need to make this so i'm gonna try and make something like that uh, at some point um anyway distracting myself so what is a color lookup table we can go to the documentation for unreal and we can find color correction and you'll find this set of 16 boxes and this is 16 by 256 pixels and it's just a color lookup table basically what this does is it tells our scene or our level what colors should be displayed so if we just quickly copy this image and we go into photoshop with it we'll just say new and paste now we have this in photoshop it's a very basic image we don't really need to do anything with this we don't need to touch this at all now we could edit this here like this but it's not very good to do so because we want to see how things are going to look on our scene without having to bring things in and keep testing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to full screen this by pressing f11 and then i'm just going to get to a point where i like the like the angle and i'm just going to print screen now i'm going to head back into photoshop and make another new project I'm just going to paste this in and I'll just crop out the the top and bottom because that's little bits that we don't need now I'm going to go back to the color lookup table I'm going to select all and copy now back inside this one I'm going to paste the color lookup table and place it down in the bottom corner so that I can see things now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the layer that has the color lookup table which is layer 2 here and I'm going to duplicate this to make sure it's still in the same place and the reason I'm doing this is because I need two of these you'll see why shortly I'm gonna hide the new one and then with the old one selected I'm gonna select the background layer and I'm gonna merge these together so now we have one layer that has a color lookup table and our scene now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some changes to the image by using adjustments if we go to image and then adjustments we can change all sorts of things we can change colors color balance human saturation the vibrance lots and lots of things so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go into hue and saturation and i'm going to say shift this a bit so let's make this um, how do we, yeah let's make this a bit bluer so now you'll notice that the scene is a bit bluer. I'm just going to take out some of that lightness. There we go. So we have a, a slightly darker blue. Now, this is also, because we have these on the same layer, affected this color lookup table example we have here. We can't access this, and we, well, we can, and we could just try and highlight this area, but we made this second color lookup table, which is the original, and we're going to use that. What we're going to do is over here inside of our layers, we're going to hold control and click the layer that has the the extra color lookup table on and that's going to select just what's inside that layer and because it's in exactly the same place here on our background layer we've just got the color lookup table selected so we can copy that and then paste that on its own so i'm going to quickly save this now i already have my content folder open so i'm just going to save this as uh, clt underscore one I'm going to do a couple of these to show you guys and now this will auto import there it is now before we use this as a color lookup table we just have to double click this and you'll notice this is all blocky and square we don't want that so over here in texture group we have it set to world already on the right hand side open the drop down menu and go down you'll find color lookup table when you do this it's going to blend these all together and it's going to look a lot nicer excuse me i'll just press save We'll close it down and now what we need is a post process volume now i already have one here but if you need one in the left hand side under modes you can search for post and you'll get post process volume just drag one of these into the scene and then what you need to do is with it selected if you just search for unbound 
just tick the little box to make this unbound and this will make sure that it can be seen anywhere. You don't have to be inside the box. So by default, your post-processing settings here in the right under post-process volume will be closed. So click the little arrow next to settings to open this up or this will be closed. Or actually they might be open by default. Yeah, these will all be open by default. I'm just going to quickly close them because there we go. I don't like them. What we're going to do is underneath scene color, we're going to click this open and we'll see some lovely little things. Now we can tick scene color and we can just change these to change the overall look of the scene. But this isn't going to give us an accurate representation. This is more like adding a film over the top, which isn't great. So we're going to turn that off. And instead, here under color grading, we're going to turn this on. And now inside this little box here, we're just going to drag in our new color lookup table. And now you'll notice that the colors should match what we had in our Photoshop. And you can see that they do. So that's a color lookup table. We've just changed this entire scene's look and atmosphere with a very, very simple change. So we can go back to Photoshop and we're going to say undo because I want to start with the default colors again. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go to adjustments. I'm going to go to human saturation. I'm just going to remove all the saturation. I'm going to make this black and white. I'm going to make it a little bit darker as well. Now I'm going to hold control and click the color lookup table layer and then copy and paste this in here. Save as CLT underscore two. Go into Unreal, import this in, open this up, and then we are going to set this to a color lookup table, save, and now I'm just going to drag this in, and now we have a nice dark black and white scene instead. Now you can do this with any type of color lookup table, it will work with pretty much any. So we've got some green here, so maybe Maybe because green's my favorite color, we're going to go into Photoshop and let's just get rid of the, the previous layers. And I'm just going to go to select. I'm going to select color range. I'm going to choose a green that I like here. There we go. That's not much green, is it really? Let's, uh, let's just make a little botch job really quick. We're going to just chop some out. Woohoo. Yeah, nice and green. That'll do for green. That didn't select all that I wanted. So let's just add some. There we go. Pretty much what I want. Just some green. I'm going to inverse the selection and then I'm going to say... I'm on the hidden layer. Go to this one. Adjustments, hue saturation. I'm going to turn those down. I'm going to save this out. So, Targa, CLT underscore three. Bring this into Photoshop, uh, into Unreal rather. Open this up, change this to a color lookup table. Press save. I'm going to use this. Boink. And now you can see that we're getting only shades of green, which is actually really nice. It's quite a nice. Uh, a nice almost film grade you see some films where you can only see the the color red and everything else is black and white well i've done it with green so there we are now you notice that we're losing a little bit of the color here just because the some of these um, values do not match what's inside our color lookup table but this will be if you were to do this sort of thing a lot more um accurate this just a very very rapid uh, just to show this off. Um, let's see, we'll do another one. We'll do something silly. We'll take... Actually, we'll undo. There we go. Deselect. And now I'm going to just invert the colors. And I'm going to save the sounds. Let's make it a targa. Oops, that's not a targa. Make it a targa. CLT underscore four. And if we open up Unreal. Import. We'll drag this. Oh, no, we won't. We haven't changed it. Texture group, color lookup table, save, and then we'll drag this in. And boop. Oh, there it is. Nice and uh, nice and inverted. 
or let's go back to Photoshop again and we'll just set this back to normal and I'm going to go to the adjustments I'm going to say hue and saturation and I'm actually going to really oversaturate this in fact let's do this using color balance no no not color balance yeah I just want vibrance yes we'll use vibrance we'll we'll blast the vibrance up and we'll blast the saturation up a little bit I say a little bit and then I put it all the way to the end save this as and we'll say CLT I've got five we'll head into Photoshop unreal I keep saying Photoshop it's not Photoshop this is unreal stop brain get in line come on <laughs> change this to a color lookup table and if we drag this in, boop, we have this really oversaturated scene here. So look at that, how vibrant that is. That's really, really nice. Now, to show you guys what this looked like before, in case you forgot, we can tick this little arrow here in the color grading to remove it. And poof, that's what this looks like by default. Which is now, in comparison, looks really, really washed out, doesn't it? We can just tick the, the little the tick. So you go, that's how you can dramatically change a scene using color grading. Hopefully that's been something that you guys can can find useful and it's something that you'll use. Uh, some color grading is probably going to end up being in in every um, production um, production product because well, it's just a professional thing to do I suppose um, so there we go hopefully you guys uh, can follow that it is very very simple um, and this is something that you can use that's very nice stop uh, so yes I'm gonna end this video here um, so yeah have fun with that one guys and I'll see you next time